in the Johnny Davis garage, and he looks like he's getting ready to make one more run. Yeah, they are. This 0-1 has uh, it's been a little bit tight, uh, Doc. They were loose earlier. Now they've got it too tight, so they're raising the track bar up. Uh, we've also got Mike Wallace in the 0 car. He's out probably making his last run. Uh, they're, they're in qualifying trim only, but they only have one set of tires that they can really use because of finances. It's not really about how many sets uh, NASCAR will give you. For this team, it's about money, and uh, they just don't have the finances and the funding to be able to just throw tires on their cars. So, uh, Mike Wallace is going to make this last run. I talked to him. He said they'll just have to take the data that they've learned in these couple of runs and then make their decisions for tomorrow when they qualify. So, uh, you know, this is just tough. The, the way these guys race, they race hard, they work hard, but they don't have a lot of money to throw at these cars, Doc. It is amazing, Andy. Uh, Johnny Davis has six total full-time employees. Six, folks. And he has three race cars at the racetrack. You do the math, that's only two per car. How in the world, Rusty, can you do it? But somehow they make it work. Well, Jerry, honestly, you can't do it that way. But he's working their brains out. And you know, as you were talking about uh, these guys making the last runs, and Mike Wallace is out there. But look at Mike. He's 30 quick right now. That's a pretty good speed for that car. But, boy, all they're trying to do is just get him to run fast enough to make the race. And, you know, I guess you're right. There's two employees standing right there with one car, so six for three cars. I've never heard that done, but it's like these guys are getting it done. See the Johnny Davis team, 34 starts, best finish 18, three times for Daniel Quinn, who was a 2006 rookie of the year. Johnny Davis, former crew chief years ago for James Hilton and Jimmy Meads. He's doing it the hard way with blood and sweat.